I called you my twin. No. We shared the same birthday and height challenge, sang alto and choir and played piano. That's where the similarities ended. I was fair and you were olive, but your light refused to bend to my black holes. I never told you how many times your laughter set off bombs in my jaws. Jenna, I never would have made it through high school without you. Your first car was a yellow boat. You'd pull up to school, bumping some god-awful rap tune, get out of your car dancing, bounce me with your booty, knock me off balance. We'd walk into class, Siamese twin wrapped around each other, sharing heartbeats. I knew we were meant to be sisters at night when you'd lie alone in bed with phantom hymen aches and I can feel my bones cry before you'd call me so I could remind you of where you were and help you forget where you had been. Senior year, you dropped out, got your GED. You were getting married and having a baby with your soulmate. I knew I'd miss you, but I was happy that in a way you were finally getting justice. After a past stepdad abused you, you deserved to be taken care of, to know that sex could be consensual, shameless. In 2003, at my graduation, you came to tell me you were moving. So I searched desperately to find something to send you with, pulled Volkswagen yellow yarn from my pocket and tied it around your wrist so I'd always be with you. June 14th, 2007. I got an email with a news link. Jennifer Nielsen, age 22 and eight months pregnant with her third child, was stabbed in the neck while delivering newspapers. Both mother and son dead at the scene. When you first got pregnant, you told me you were scared because you still weren't sure what good parenting looked like. Jenna, I think it looks like you. A graceful avalanche fighting against a devil erupting phallic fire getting hard hearing your skin split. You protected your baby the way your mother should have protected you. Your autopsy report revealed no sexual assault but your pants around your ankles. Once a woman has been raped, she is seven times more likely to be raped again and you weren't going to be twice a victim. I know you fought that motherfucker so hard you were going to rip his dick off. The anarchy fingers clutching bloody pubic hair and your screams refusing for silence. He could no longer allow you to live. He plunged that knife a full inch in, left you and your son alone to choke to death on his secret. Yellow yarn still clinging to your wrist, a memory of our friendship stained in equitable crimson. Every year I hear on the news that they still haven't found him. But I feel yellow yarn around my wrist tighten that can only be your children tugging imaginary ropes on me through you, telling me every day to keep looking.